How's it going, folks? Welcome back here to a Wednesday night, just about 9 p.m. here in California, September 24th, 2025. Uh, we do have another large earthquake coming into the Venezuela area right now as we speak. This is a uh, second event. The earlier one this afternoon was a 6.2. Now we have a 6.4 earthquake coming into the area where that 6.2 and a 4.9 struck today. Got a lot of activity stirring up here in this region right now. It sits right down here across the southern end of the Caribbean plate. Been quite active here across the Middle American Trench recently. So the squeeze is on in this area. So there's that 6.4 bigger, which would make that the main quake now. Six miles deep underneath this area. Uh, man, these guys definitely uh, getting shaken up around this area. Let me see here. Not a whole lot of information here on it. Let's see what we got. Uh, go back here real quick. Interactive map. I want to see the population density out here where that earthquake struck. There it is in the star. Some regions here fairly dense. It looks like about 10 to 15, 20 miles or so to the northwest of uh, populated areas. Uh, up to the northwest as well, about 60 miles or so. But that's a, that is a definitely an interesting event here. Now, there is a couple different deeper regions underneath this area. I do want to double check here real quick, see what we got here for historical larger events in the area. Because the aftershock sequence is getting bigger. That tells me right here that this could very well be leading up to something uh, in terms of larger magnitudes here so stand by uh, we're gonna go we'll do 6.5 of 6.4 and above and we're just gonna go back a little white a little ways and check out the Venezuela area where this earthquake struck here roughly within this region let's see what we got stand by here for a second that's a decent size event Wow nothing really <laughs> That is crazy. So roughly, when was this quake here? Looks like 1950 they last had a 6.4 out here. That's to the uh, southeast here, a good 60 miles or so. Really not a whole lot of larger movement out here historically. So it's uh, a little bit of time has passed out there, I would say. So a little uncertain on if this is going to lead to anything bigger or not, considering we haven't had a... Uh, anything of larger nature take place out here but it's you know could always happen definitely got to be prepared out here we'll watch the aftershock sequence here from this but you know to say that's a foreshock that's uh you know who's to say that this isn't a foreshock all these may, may be foreshocks it's something bigger out here we'll have to watch that closely uh, either way that's a, a decent size event it does look like there's been a couple earthquakes there in southern california here around that time when that stirred up um, I don't, there it is. We're just now getting the seismic wave there showing up in Southern California. That's going to be this here showing up in Northern California. But during the time of the event, when that 6.4 struck, there was some localized earthquake activity there across Southern California here. So it did look like uh, as movement was happening down here, made some adjustment up North here. I, I know it's thousands of miles away, but you know, when you, when you look at the plate tectonics out here, uh, well, it's just a little, little area from here down to uh, the Venezuela area. So when things adjust, you know, it's like a giant, giant uh, puzzle out here or a cracked egg. It can definitely have effect uh, almost instantly uh, thousands of miles away on the same plate or on an adjacent plate here. So that's a, uh, it looks like they downgraded it there to a 6.3, but that's still bigger than the 6.2 that struck. This may go back up, though. You never know. They, they go up, they go down, and eventually they'll figure out a magnitude. Uh, but originally coming in as a 6.4, now a 6.3. Goodness. That's uh, definitely the largest event so far here. I know it's been uh, super active out here, though. Um, along the Middle America Trench, South America area. This whole area here in the last 24 hours has been quite amplified. Um, and it makes sense here to kind of look at where all that pressurization is going if you look at the general stress map out here when we have a lot of activity along the peru chile trench right that's due to the nazca plate subducting underneath this area but 
the South American plate in general moves off to the north, slight northwest movement here. And the Middle America Trench is a subduction zone. Um, so that puts a squeeze up here around the Venezuela area towards the southern end of the Caribbean plate. And that's uh, uh, right about here. So it makes sense there to see some increasing pressurization uh, from here. We do got to watch potential areas up north there around the Puerto Rico Trench. And um, we'll see how that plays out. But uh, I'm a little uncertain on if we're done yet here or not. Uh, let me go back here and see how often the six-pointers stir up out here. Let's see. Where'd my... Uh... Well, you can look on the historical map here real quick. Stand by. Yeah, quite frequent out here. Uh, but mainly, it looks like mainly to the east there, we can see some six-pointers. As I showed you there on the map, uh, they don't get much bigger than that. But it is in an interesting region here where it looks like there may have been a, a five-pointer or so. Maybe that looks like a 4.5 to 5.0 in this area. So technically the largest event in this region here uh, struck today. Two of them. <laughs> Goodness. So, yeah, definitely uh, watch that. Let's give a quick recap or a quick check here of the West Coast. Starting to light up out here as well. There was a, a 2.7 earthquake. Okay, so that's interesting here. That's what we're seeing right here. That 2.7 earthquake struck um, shortly or during the same time that the 6.3 struck. That may be a bad sign for areas up north here. I don't think I don't believe in coincidence here when things move here in the plate tectonic world. See the 6.3, 2051, 39 seconds. Only a few seconds later, 2051, 59, 20 seconds later, we get some adjustment there in Southern California. Put the squeeze up here. Coincidentally, me and Missy Mimi's here are watching the movie San Andreas tonight. We're just about halfway. Well, we're over halfway through, but uh, be on guard, folks. Got uh, some interesting activity to see that earthquake strike roughly about the same time or shortly thereafter that 6.3, way down south. I don't think it's a coincidence because all of a sudden, you know, we're getting the increase in earthquake activity here across Southern California. Uh, there was an earthquake up there around the Pinnacles area. That's along the creeping section of the San Andreas Fault earlier this evening as well, a couple hours ago, and also a 2.5 here off the coast. So things are pressurizing out here across the San Andreas Fault and areas inland and, of course, uh, on the Pacific Plate here. So just be on guard here. Look at this little sequence of events here off on the Hayward Fault and the Rogers Creek Fault to the west. Interesting there. A couple smaller quakes. Uh, Northern California, pretty quiet. Nothing going on there across the... Uh, uh, the rest of the area. Let's check the trimmer map here this evening, see what we got. Just want to keep this kind of short update. We'll give it one more minute. Nothing going on for the Cascadia trimmer. That's a little odd. No uh, slow slip events going on. All right, so the rest of the world got Japan stirring back up out here. Quite a few fours, even uh, the Kamchatka, Russia area. Let's see if there's anything else major going on. Uh, for now, we'll keep an eye up here along the West Coast. The general stress, though, like I say, that South America plate's moving off here to the north. That could pressurize areas up north here, the Caribbean plate, North American plate, which, of course, all interacts here along the plate boundary, the San Andreas Fault. May seem, you know, that it's not likely that that would be a result from that 6.3, but when you look at the general map out here, uh, we're just a little bitty ant, maybe a little speck here in terms of how big the plates are on the planet and how they can affect one another out here. All right, I'm going to jump off here, folks, for now. 6.3, a little downgrade there. Just one little point. They may upgrade it. Who knows? There in the Venezuela area, we'll keep an eye on it. 